Well, hello guys. I'm uh, outside getting ready to uh, do some ice fishing and uh, I just want to show you kind of what I do for you know the sled setup and uh, what I have. So I got a 12 foot um, skidoo trailer which I uh, have there sitting in the driveway. I'll show you a bit better detail in a minute. So this is the skidoo trailer. We got a bit of snow last night, so it's got some snow on it. Action trailer is where I bought it. Well, this is the uh, Skidoo trailer. I got a Arctic Cat. Uh, the two-up sled that I put a box on the back. I was going to do another video how I have it all set up. Clam. Two, two man hut and I have some other little toboggans that I haul so I kind of have everything in here that for to set me up to uh, everything goes in there and uh, I can get up and go this is from the other end one of the th modifications I did is I put some boards on the side and I kind of hang up you know straps and tie downs and stuff like that and I put a winch at the front here if I ever get uh, have any problems I can actually winch the sled up onto the sled so I'm not stuck anyway it's kind of disarray right now because you know I need to get organized still but yeah that's that Hello, I'm just going to add to that uh, the skidoo trailer setup. Some of the other things with that uh, trailer, it's uh, it's all an aluminum trailer, so it, there's never any rust. It's I think it's three or four years old, and it's uh, it's held up very well for me. So yeah, it's a action trailer. Uh, it's I bought it in Ontario, so. Yeah, pretty good. Another thing that, uh, yeah, I, I was talking about that winch that's in that trailer that I installed. It's a 12 volt winch, so it uh, I have a 12 volt battery in there and uh, I have it charged up and knock on wood, haven't had to use it. So yeah, it's there to be used if I need to pull something up onto the uh, trailer so that's a an option I added which uh, it's just a warranty that you know if I do get stuck and a lot of times I fish me and another guy or me or by myself or you know I would never be able to pull that skidoo up onto that trailer without uh, having a having it uh, running so the winch would actually get it up on there one of the things I also carry with me when I'm with the skidoo is I bought this is just a booster pack um, I usually throw that in the back of the sled in that big compartment and uh, if I have a problem starting the uh, skidoo you it's just like having boosters and you start the sled it's a four stroke sled so i'm kind of stuck i don't have a pull cord so i gotta have a backup to the backup so if the battery craps out then uh, i use that 
I used to have an older Ford truck since I since now I bought a new new vehicle so I bought another booster pack this is just the backup for the truck so this one was a I bought both of these on Amazon and uh, this one's a bit uh, bigger capacity this is a Gulo I don't know it works with this one here, you can I can boost the truck. This one I can only boost a car or a snowmobile or whatever, and it, it works. I've uh, I was up in Perry Sound area, and a guy came by. And we were just unloading, and he was like, "Oh man, can you give me a boost?" And I was like, uh, "I really don't want to boost my sled to a sled." And I said, "Hey, I got a booster pack." I gave him this and uh, within like two minutes he was up and running so he actually got to go fishing he was thanking me and I just said you know what hey if you see somebody on the side of the road broken down pull over man you may, you may need help and uh, just pass it along all right cheers